financial accounting. We're talking about financial performance. I am, we're talking specifically about liquidity ratios. And these are the liquidity ratios that have to do with kind of overall how, um, how agile are you as far as your cash position is concerned. So the first one we want to look at is the current ratio. And you'll remember that the current ratio is current assets divided by current liabilities. And uh, we want this to be what, greater than 1 because it shows that we have enough current assets to cover our current obligations, our responsibilities to others. So uh, again, we're using the same example problem for short exercise 6. And it says that in X7, our current assets are $48,000. And we pulled that from the balance sheet, didn't we? And the current liabilities are $36,000. So if we divide, um, we get 1.3. So is this current ratio for X7 above 1? Yes, that's a positive. The rule of thumb, though, for current ratio is we usually like it about 2. But again, it depends on your industry. If you were to compute the current ratio for the previous year, X6, you would find it's 0 0.9, less than 1. So that means we'd have to go out and what, borrow some uh, resources, uh, liabilities, in order to even pay our current, obli uh, our current resource obligations. Quick, quick ratio is, is even better because the quick ratio shows you how agile you are. In other words, you really don't have to go out there and uh, sell inventory or ask for a refund on your prepaids in order to meet your current obligations. So one way that you can express your quick ratio is it's your current assets minus your prepaids minus your inventory divided by your current liabilities. And this one you definitely want above 1. Another way to talk about what your quick assets are for the quick ratio is uh, if I define it the other way around, our quick assets, or this numerator here, is our cash plus our marketable securities plus our accounts receivable. Cash plus marketable securities plus accounts receivable over current liabilities. For this problem, if I did it for X7, it tells me that my cash, my marketable securities, and my accounts receivable are 14,000 plus nothing plus 20,000 divided by current liabilities, which are 36,000. So our quick ratio, uh, this is also known as the acid test ratio. Isn't that a great name? Acid test or quick ratio is 0 0.09. So is the quick ratio less than 1? And that means I'm not as liquid as I would like. In other words, I don't have enough current uh, or quick assets to cover my current liabilities. So would I probably have to go out and borrow? Yeah. Uh, if I had done the quick ratio or the acid test ratio for the previous year, X6, I would find it 0 0.9. Seven. So are we improving over the previous year? Yes. Are we still have a little difficulty? Yes. So again, these ratios make me want to ask better questions. What's going on?